Come on. Araceli, thank you so much for coming up here. And just let's just begin with telling us what happened a couple of months back and uh, to the direction of your freedom. So, oh, it's so hard to be up here. <laughs> okay, I'm right here. <laughs> so a couple of months ago, um, about three and a half months ago, I was going through a hardship in my life and I started suffering from anxiety and vomiting. Uh, and when I say vomiting anxiety, I mean it lasted all day. I vomited twice, three times a day, even more sometimes. Um, I had anxiety so bad that I had to leave work at times. I even missed work twice a week. And I work at a doctor's office, so you know I have patients all day, every day, so you can't really just leave work, but I would leave because I couldn't even work. Um, I couldn't eat, I couldn't be around people because I felt so like we are so anxious and even people could notice that they're like, are you okay? And um, I tried my hardest and I would kind of like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm fine. And I would go to the bathroom, pray, come out, but it kept attacking me, you know, like a really bad to the point where, you know, I was a zombie. I felt like a zombie. Like I felt like I got up and it wasn't even me. Wow. And so you're saying this was happening for three and a half, four months uh, of this constant nausea, nausea and just vomiting throughout the day, or was it just in the morning, or when was this happening? So it happened, it hit hard in the morning, right when I wake up. So I would wake up, I would be very anxious. I start vomiting for a good, like, 10, 15 minutes. I would get up, get ready, go to work, right? As soon as I ate something, go to the bathroom, vomit, and then work. Same thing, had lunch, vomit. And then um, I would come home, and then at, after so long after vomiting, I stopped eating. Because, I mean, you know you're going to vomit. So I said, you know what, just don't eat as much or eat fruit or something so that doesn't hurt when you vomit. Mm -hmm. um, so then I lost 20 pounds. Um, I kept checking my weight, like, every couple of weeks, and it kept going down. And then I, you know, tried again eating more. So I would gain my weight back, and same thing, vomit, vomit, vomit. And tell us, uh, were you prescribed with medications? Did you take those medications? So, yeah, I had anxiety medication. I had Sofran for vomiting. I had um, ulcer medication, like Omeprazole for, like, gastritis. Uh, all of that. I had all those medications. I didn't take it, though. I left it in my bathroom because I kept telling myself, you know, God's going to heal you. You are going to be healed and even though I had, I wanted all the medication there anyways. I wanted to look at it because I kept telling myself, just in case an emergency, just in case you need it, so you don't miss work, you know, take a pill. And something kept telling me, you know, take the anxiety medication. And I don't know if anybody's ever taken anxiety medication, but it's, it's tough on you. It makes you sleepy, and it really does calm you down, but it zombifies you. Like, you're, yeah. you feel like a zombie. So I said, no, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to keep going with my day. And, you know, I'm going to pray. Every time I get attacked, I'm going to pray. God's going to get me through every hour of the day. And so I left it. I didn't take it. And, you know, there was nights, yeah, I didn't sleep. I was on like two hours of sleep, three hours of sleep, going to work. And I have kids, so I had to take care of the kids and function with all of that, you know. So it was really, really hard. Tell us, what was the turning point for you that you're like, you know what, I just, I need to get prayed for. What was that turning point and what happened after you received prayer? So I went through, um, like, inner healing soul, my soul. So I did that, and I did praying. I've, I've been praying, and it's... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Come on, you guys. Give her just a hand of applause. You got this. So... Just a quick FYI, I was baptized in 2015. I actually looked at my certificate a couple months ago. And I told myself, oh my gosh, time, time is flying. Yeah. Um, and I, something in my head told me, honestly, what have you done from 15 to now? And have you really gave your all to God? And I feel like I have to share that because it's, a, it's big. And I told myself in my head, no, I didn't. I didn't give my all to God. I got baptized. I would come to church here and there to play the role, you know, of going to church on Sundays. But I have not gave my all to God. I have not laid my life down to God. So one, one night I went, you know, into my closet. That's my praying closet. I went and I prayed and I cried out to God and I said, God, 
Forgive me for everything I've ever done in my life, you know. And tonight, I lay my life down for you. Tonight, I choose to live with you, for you, and that's it. I will wake up the next day, I'll lose anything, you know. I'll lose anyone, anything for you. And that night, I started praying. And something, I heard something like in my head, and it said, I won't stop until you go crazy. I won't stop until you lose it all. I panicked, and I said, oh my God, what? whatever's trying to get to me is going to kill me, is going to finish me off. So I contacted Pastor Vlad, and at this point, I was like, I, I'm desperate. I need, I need, I need to get healed. I need to, and you know, he encouraged me fasting and uh, to come in in the morning to get prayed over, for which I did. And that night, literally God told me, cry your last cry, scream your last scream, and vomit your last vomit. Because tonight's the night, it's the last night. Come on. And Amen. 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 God is so good. And I want you to touch on this, Araceles, that you came here to the morning prayer and you received your deliverance, but also the journey afterwards as you were going through that, those, this past couple of weeks. So it's been a couple of weeks now. And have you been struggling? Have you been throwing up or this anxiousness? What's been going on with you? Oh, um, nothing. I received healing that morning. I came in and you know, when you come in, it's tough to be around a crowd, especially, you know, if you're shy, like I'm very shy. So I kept thinking, I, when they said, oh, we're suddenly come up so we can pray, I wanted to run. Something said run. <laughs> and, and no, I stuck to it. I got prayed for. Really quick that I want to share is I went home that day, that morning after prayer. I didn't feel anything. I felt completely the same. I did. I felt the same. And in my head, I started thinking, hey, so you're not healed. See, it didn't work. You wasted your time and... I started, I, w I was going back into that mood, laying down, getting sad and, and thinking, oh, you weren't healed. And I wanted to vomit again. I went to the bathroom and I w at this point I was angry. I was really angry and I said, no, you're not. I'm not going to vomit. I'm not going to cry. No, you're done. You're healed. And yeah, the feeling went away. I laid down, took a nap, woke up. I was hungry. And when I say hungry, it's a crazy feeling. I mean, it was a crazy hunger. Pastor Vlad said on the, on the conference I had, Four tacos, actually, I had five. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had five tacos. Um, and that, was, that, that wasn't even it. I ate like crazy during that day until this, till now. I've been eating more than three meals a day than you should know. I've been eating a lot, and I have not vomited. Anxiety, gone, completely gone. Like, I'm not, it's gone. I'm sleeping, I'm eating, I'm working. Amen. Amen. You know, Araceli, I want you to emphasize on this. As soon as you receive the deliverance, you know, the enemy loves to tell us that it's going to be, you know, rainbows and sunshine and nothing's going to go wrong. But you mentioned to me before is that, you know, anxiety was knocking on the door and it was even, you even felt nauseous a couple of times. So please emphasize on what did you do when you had these moments that you felt like, oh my gosh, am I delivered? What's going on? What's my next step? What did you do? So... Yeah, they did come back. So I was completely healed, fine. And then all of a sudden, one day, it wanted to come back. And I started thinking again, oh, you, wanna, you have to throw up. Go throw up. And I said, no, no. I came against it. I prayed. And I said, you're healed. You're not going to throw up. God is with you. And the devil's a liar. And you will not go back to the old ways. And Amen. I Amen. Felt good. Amen. I wanted to emphasize that because as sometimes when we receive deliverance, we need to know is that enemy loves to deceive. He's a liar. And he tries, tries to tell us is that you're not free. You're not healed. You're not delivered. But it is a fact that when you are free, you are free indeed. Amen. And it is a beautiful thing is that even though it was knocking on her door, she rebuked it, refused and said, I declare that I am free and I'm not going back anymore. And we need to hear this more often as soon as we receive our freedom, what to do next. Amen. Amen. Arcelli, what would be your last words of encouragement for someone that is dealing with or struggling with uh, a certain anxiety or bondage? What would be your words of encouragement? So mine would be, I mean, like I said, I 
have been coming to church on and off. When I feel like when you literally tell God and when you tell him, you know, I, I'm here, you give it all to him. Amen. And when you're halfway in and halfway out, it's so hard because you don't, I feel like I, I was always halfway in yes. and, or out. And when I finally told him, I'm 100% in, I'm 100% yours, he started moving in my life. And that's when I, especially healing, when I received it, oh my gosh, he's, he's there for you. And no matter what situation you have, no matter who you are, he is there for you. Yes. And all it takes is honestly a little bit of faith. Yes. And yeah. Come on. And amen, amen. And I apologize. One last thing is that her sister received deliverance at the Race to Deliver conference as well, just this last weekend, right? So it was a whole family deliverance all in one package. Come on. God is doing some good things, breaking generational curses. Amen, amen. So you guys, let's just give God just one more shout of praise. Thank you so much, Araceli. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.